So which collector package we should use for 2009 exhaust system? 421 or 41? As we are seeing in the Formula One international championships, they use the 41 collector package because they need the high RPM torque. While in, in, according to the, our application, we use the low and the mid range power. So 421 collector package makes use of scaling and can be tuned for the high RPM overlap and the low RPM overlap. Our application is basically we are not running at very high RPM. So and the 41 collector package is very poor on the low and mid range power. That's why we will go with the 421 collector package. So crossover pipes. Why the crossover pipes needs to be incorporated? What are the benefits and why should we include the crossover pipes? It of course improves the exhaust flow, definitely shortens out the exhaust system and reduces the weight. And it back pressure, it balances the back pressure between the ind independent exhaust pipe, that means the more balanced car and the produce the low end torque, which is the winning factor for our competition. So powertrain exhaust system we have the material options and we are going with the full titanium exhaust system because the titanium is the best for the high strength to weight ratio compared to the internal stainless steel aluminium and mild steel so we will go with the titanium of course it's a little bit expensive but our budget allows us to fit into that and we will then go with the titanium exhaust system which reduce the weight to a great extent so the, keeping in mind that it is in the way, we will go with the titanium exhaust system. So with the muffler coating, we have a kind of insulator for the muffler. We can use the ceramic or we can use the thermal wrap. Of course, we need to keep in mind that formula SA rule says that the sound should be less than 110 decibels. So if you use the ceramic, it's not the sound good sound absorber. While the thermal wrap is a very good sound absorber as, as well as it's very good thermal stress absorber. So we will go with the thermal wrap so that we can absorb the sound as well as thermal stresses from the muffler. And the perforation in the muffler will allow smoother flow and great exhaust system. So these are the final objectives for the 2009 Formula SAE competition. We will use headers, crossover pipes, and we will incorporate the single exhaust, we incorporate the 4 to 1 collector package with that. We will purchase the muffler with the thermal coat, thermal wrap and thermal coating in it. And we will use the grade 2 titanium for the entire exhaust system. And that's all I have for PGR and my friend Fabian will come over and, and take over to the drive train system. Thank you. Hi, my name is Pedro Martinez. I'm in charge of the drivetrain system for the 2009 car. And to begin our presentation, drivetrain, let us define what is a drivetrain. It is a system that transmits an engine's power to the wheel. And let's look at the fundamental components that it has. We have the drive axles. We have the differential sprockets and the chain. The goals. The goals for drive train for this year will be to reduce rotational inertia from the differential housing, early manufacturing during the, during the fall, a sexable tensioning system, and most important, being compliance with the deadlines. Let's, let us take a look at the drive system options. The first one is a chain driven system. The advantage of it is are easy to manufacture, low maintenance, light, lighter weight, the disadvantage are chalk loading, chain elongation. On the other hand, we have a belt driven system. The advantages of it are it is good chalk loading, no lower equation required, higher efficiency, and if the belt is manufactured out of carbon, can have a longer life. The disadvantages of it are increases rotational inertia and it will require a custom belt. It will re increase our rotational inertia because the surface area for the belt it will increase. Now since previously has used the chain driven system 
let's see how the pensioning system were. In 2006-2007, they used a pensioner. The only problem with it, it was they need to create the thing. They need to adjust the tension on the chains frequently. To solve that problem, Lazier team create a tensioning differential. The differential used by previous team is the Thorsen Universal Spe Special T1. It has been used by the past teams successfully. The only problem with it, it is an oversight design because the gear housing is out of hardened cast iron and we can have a better performance if we can choose uh, different materials for the internal washers, which will give us a better torque bias ratio. On the power distribution, we have the half chest and the CV Jones transmits, the, we're gonna use half chest because they transmit power at variable angle they have been proven by previous team to be reliable and largely travel free and it has been used by all season teams. The improvements for this year are aluminum differential gear housing, soil differential leakage and I have an accessible differential tensioning system. That brings us to the proposed design. It will be a chain driven system with constant velocity joints a T1 torsion differential with an aluminum housing and having an accessible tensioning system. Our strategy to get to our goals will be no modification to CV joints housing. Manufacturing will begin during fall. Work on differential analysis and accessible tensioning system. Now that, we, that brings us to the end of the power, the power train department presentation. And here are the proposed design. Sounder head will be rebuilt, oil pan baffles will be installed, block style aluminum intake manifold use, exhaust will be completely made in grade 2 titanium, differential gear housing will be light. Now I'm going to turn the floor to the chassis department. <coughs> 